Hi, welcome, welcome. Cynthia Allen here, and I am your host for the Turning Challenges into Possibilities for the Special Needs Family, the Feldenkrais Awareness Summit. And I'm really glad to have here with us Anat Benyel. So we have a lot, a lot of experience from earth, from the moment of birth with what I call the mechanical world. And it's a real world and it's, the, it's, it's very important. And of course our body in terms of the movement itself, it's a mechanical event. Let's call it that. The brain works very differently. The brain is not a mechanical system. It's an information system. And the information system operates according to its own rules. What we find oftentimes in intervention, in an attempt to influence another person and to get them to do something or learn something that they are not doing or able to do or whatever is going on, we tend to look to apply the mechanical approach. That means to use perhaps more force or more repetitions or make it bigger or, I don't know, the mechanical idea of how to make the world work. Information system needs information. And the fundamental unit, that's my definition, of information in the brain is the perception of a difference. In sensation, you know, the pressure, the temperature. So if I don't feel temperature, I can burn my hands because I don't perceive a difference between cooler and, and hotter. And I don't know to respond to it because it doesn't exist for me. And it's very, very important for anybody who works with children, with anyone, but with children with the autism, to understand that what we think they are perceiving, they're not, which is what we perceive. We look at the world, we hear what we hear, we see. It's not that they're blind or deaf, but the their perception of differences, they're so in that mechanism, underlying mechanism in the brain there is a disruption. So you guide them to feel anything, whatever occurs uh, as they move. Now you don't do it eight hours a day. You don't do it seven hours a day. You do it for five minutes at a time, three minutes here, because you're triggering the brain. Because once the brain starts to do it, do it, the more the brain does it, the more it will do it without you telling it to do it. Do not clap your hands when your child does something it hasn't done before because you hijack their brain to pay attention to the wrong thing. They need to be attentive to themselves. So you take great joy inside because their brain will pick your emotion of joy, of love, of satisfaction, and then it tends to groove it in. Don't ask them to do something they do for the first time to do again. Do not do that because it tends to inhibit the brain. They don't know they did it. They don't know how they did it. It's totally new. It's very fragile. It was spontaneous. Anything new we do, we do spontaneously. We might want to do it, but the first time we do it, it's spontaneous, especially with children. You see right away that you can have a potent brain that can develop order and can develop agency. Because one of the things when we prompt a lot and when we direct a lot and we tell them what they should do or what they should feel, uh, we kill off the agency and can't have adulthood without agency. Thank you so much everyone for joining us today. Just keep hanging out with us during the summit. There's a lot of great material here. Just pick up what resonates with you the most because we've got plenty more of where this came from. And uh, well, just thank you. Thank you all. November 5th through November 10th. Sign up to get your free access pass today.